Hey guys, what is up? I am back with, uh, we might have one more video before this one's done, but we're going to see how much we get done today. And uh, I just want to say again, thank you for all of you that have been subscribing to this channel. Um, I really appreciate it. And also too, I put up a video today, earlier today, of uh, the comic that I was actually talking about that I'm, that I'm working on. So you should definitely check out that video. It's the one prior to uh, this video right here. So um, don't miss it. It's called uh, something. Anyway, the I think the thumbnail says the commander or something. So you should definitely check that out. And we're gonna jump right into this, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on this drawing a little bit more. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is what do we always do? Create a new layer. Why? Because you don't want to screw up the drawing that you've already. Uh, worked on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start doing just a little bit of touch-ups on the hair. Well, not touch-ups really, but more like, I guess I should say, enhancements. So we're going to select our pencil tool. Uh, we're just going to go with a standard one that's right here to start with. And we're going to grab some white. Double check to make sure we're on our uh, layer. Okay, and let's just zoom in just a little bit. I kind of want to show you guys something that might help with your drawings a little bit. Okay, so when you're doing hair, at least when that's still too thick, um, when I'm, well, at least when I'm doing hair, I like to, uh, I don't like it all to be like necessarily like 100% perfect. I like it, uh, sometimes a little, a little, uh, a little messy. <laughs> so I'm just adding these small little strokes here along the edge and just a little bit because you know when you ever when you ever look at someone's hair really closely I mean unless they just have their hair like super super greased out <laughs> uh, you're not gonna see it all like perfectly in place so you want to that's one thing when you're doing art. You definitely want to make sure that your art is um, uh, not so like extremely uniform. Sometimes, uh, well, it depends on what type of art you're going for, but at least something, something. You don't want everything to be so um, so super. Can't speak. Super uniform. So yeah. So I'm just adding in these little. Uh, these little marks, as you can see, that's already doing quite a bit of enhancement already to the uh, to her hair. So we're just going to keep on going. You know, a lot of my videos, especially like my art videos, I, I hope you guys can just bear with me just sometimes when I'm talking because um, my computer has just been crap lately and... I actually just need to get a new one, and I, I am not really in the best position to um, take these videos and do like super huge editing on them. So that's why I just kind of shoot them in just one take, and yeah. But you know, eventually down the line, as as it demands, I'm sure these videos will get better and better. I hope <laughs> that's what I'm aiming for. So, but hey, you got to start somewhere, right? Okay, so I think, let's see, let's see if I can focus on that a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I think that's, that's definitely looking much better than what we had originally. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to merge this with the rest. <laughs> okay, so what we just did, obviously, you can see... Yeah, the hair and blah, 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 all that good stuff. But now one thing that we want to do that kind of is really going to make things stand out is we want to create a new layer, grab your airbrush tool, which is right here next to the pencil that you were using. Um, and we're going to select black. Then we're going to, uh, cre uh, well, we, were creating, we already created a new layer, so now we're just going to go over here to our opacity map. Uh, well, not opacity map. Look at me. I'm thinking 3D stuff. Just our opacity slider. <laughs> And, uh, wait a minute, let me see. I dropped that to about 52%. And we're going to shrink this down just a little bit. All 
right, just like that. Now this is what's really going to help the hair stand out. So what you want to do is just start adding in just a few little strokes, just a few. Now you're going to see how this is how this is actually going to be a big help. You might be able to see it already, but but we want that hair to have some depth to it. We don't want it all just look like it's just flat, like it's stuck on her head, or uh, well, I mean, her hair is stuck on her head. I keep missing. I don't know if you saw those few strokes where I was just kind of brushing and just kind of missing, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I am really excited to start that comic. Well, I mean, I already started it, but I'm I'm anxious to like get the first episode done and out there so you guys can watch it. So yeah. Okay, I just made that a little bit bigger, just a little more wider, just to fill in a few spots that might need just a little more extra special attention. Because they're just that awesome. I don't know why, but I love drawing hair. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with me. <laughs> but, yeah, I love it. Okay, so can you kind of see how that made a big difference? That made a really, really big difference. And I like it. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop the opacity on it just a little bit more. There we go. And I dropped that to 32%. I'm going to go ahead and merge that. Okay. That is merged. Now, what I want to do is uh, let's create one more layer. What are we at? Six minutes? Okay, we got plenty of time. The deal time. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna only drop that to 76 percent just to start with. I'm probably gonna drop it lower. But we need to uh, touch up on her eyebrows again. It's been a while since we've touched them. So let's just go ahead and uh, just start adding just a few little strokes. What? 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 Just like that. So yeah, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. I can't promise that they're going to be perfect every single time, but I can promise you that you always have uh, content to watch. So I, can <laughs> I would say at a pretty decent level too. I mean, you know, I I, I can't do all the crazy editing like some people's uh, YouTube pages. But let me see. Hold on. Okay, we're dropping this to forty three percent, and we're going to merge it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I was just saying though, like I, I, I can't promise that all of my videos will be super perfect, just like some other people's YouTubes and all that good stuff. But you know, with time comes, uh, comes some other comes comes good stuff. Okay, so I'm getting more of a, a warmer skin color, just so we can. Um, oops, sorry. Okay, uh, grab your airbrush tool. Grab and, and sorry, not grab. Uh, make sure you have a new layer. And I dropped the opacity to 59%. It's, we're probably going to go up on it again. I'm not up, but down further. Okay. So, hopefully you can see the difference. My camera's not really the best. I think I've already apologized for this, so I'm going to stop apologizing. I just need to get a new camera. That's all there is to it. Okay. Now you see how I kind of went out right there. That's why I always say it's important to draw on um, on a new layer because then if you were doing all this on one layer, well then you would have to cut all of this. Well, I mean it's not that hard because it's just black, so you could just fill it in. But still, it's 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 wasting time. You know. So. I'm just going to fill this in a little bit more with some more skin color. Because, I don't know if you guys could tell before, but she kind of looked a little sick. Because her skin was like really kind of like grayish. Like she had jaundice or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. All right. So we're pretty much.
much done with, uh, well, at least with adding the skin color. Uh, but I need to get my eraser. Maybe you guys did it perfect already, so you may not have to do this. But uh, I just need to cut this back just a little bit. I went over way too far. And that other spot down there that I was talking about. Yeah, right down there. Just have to clean that up a bit. Okay. She looks more healthy now. Let me just say that. And I'm going to go ahead and merge that layer. And we actually, you know what, we didn't need to, uh, uh, we didn't need to, uh, drop the opacity on that any more than we actually had already. So that's good. Um, now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down here and get a really deep, uh, gray, not gray, sorry, brown. I'm going to come up here and grab my airbrush tool. We already have a, uh, whoops. Yeah, I don't want that layer. Okay, we already have a new layer. And uh, we're going to drop the opacity s to 63%. And... There we go. <laughs> Whoop. Wrong thing, sorry. I keep forgetting that this one is up here now in the update. I'm so used to clicking this and then... Uh, pushing the undo button, but I keep forgetting that they updated that. So, what are we at? 12 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try my hardest not to make this a 20 minute video. <laughs> I really want to keep these as short as possible for you guys. I need to drop the opacity a little bit more. Okay, I dropped it to 30%. Whoop, I just hid my layer. There we go. It's back. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and just go full beast mode on this and just start adding in. Just a little bit there on the corners. Just a little bit. Okay. We've pretty much got this all wrapped up. Pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to drop that opacity even lower, about right there, and I dropped mine to 14%. I'm going to click Merge. Oops, there we go. Merged it already. Okay, uh, 13 minutes. Ugh, okay. We're still okay. Now what I want to do is I actually, <laughs> believe it or not, I actually want to add a little bit of like some highlights to her hair. So create a new layer. I'm still in the airbrush tool. Grab some pink. I dropped this to about 51%. And I'm just going to start adding these uh, just really light. Not too heavy. And we're probably going to um, adjust the opacity on it as well. So I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I just made a big mistake. Okay. Well, it wasn't really that big of a mistake. Okay, there we go. So, now... Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drop the opacity on it just a little bit more. Two. I dropped that to 28%. I'm going to go ahead and merge that. Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to do one more tutorial with this same drawing, but we're going to add it into the other app that I use, uh, Pixlr. And um, then I'm going to show you guys some of the fun stuff that I do in there. But as far as Sketchbook, we're done with this for right now. Um, the only thing that we might do... Well, hold on. I just saw something I want to fix. It's just, just because I do this. <laughs> 
I get irritated and then I see something and then I want to fix it. Okay, I just wanted to re-highlight that area. Just a little bit more than what it was. Look at me, I was like all getting ready to close up the video and now it sounds like I'm right back into it. Which, I mean, normally we would have been closing the video. But, I saw that and it irritated me so I wanted to fix it. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the end. Except for the one more video that I'm going to do with uh, on Pixlr though. So we won't be using Sketchbook Pro. But, uh, yeah, because I want to move on to something else now. So I think you guys got an idea of far, as far as like trying to... Uh, take a drawing from paper and put it into your tablet and start to color. So this pretty much wraps it up. But uh, other than, like I said, we'll put it into Pixlr and have some fun with it in there. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, uh, comment, whatever you want to do. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, and then, yeah, also too, I'm going to be trying to really post as much as I can about the comic that I'm trying to work on. And it, you know, it's, it, you won't see it as frequent as my regular tutorials, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on it. So when it comes out, then you guys will definitely be the first, well, <laughs> obviously, you guys will be the first to see it. All right, so I hope you guys have a good, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it, have a good weekend, because I don't think I'm going to post anything art-related as far as, like, me doing tutorials or anything. I don't, I might do, like, a blog or something over the weekend, but... Uh, yeah, so until then, this is the, this is the last video until Monday, and, uh, yeah, so guys, be prepared to do some more artwork drawing on Monday, uh, I gotta try to catch up on some rest, I've been fighting, trying to keep from getting sick, and all that junk, but whatever, anyway, so, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I will see you on Monday! Alright, bye.